let's actually talk about Dime. Dime MTL. Dime, the Canadian skateboarding brand. That's now, I feel like Dime have now evolved. They're no longer just a skateboarding brand. They've now become an all-encompassing streetwear brand, lifestyle brand. They, they even, it feels like going into the lane of fashion. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see like a Dime Paris Fashion Week runway show. Maybe we see a Dime runway show in general. Maybe we see lookbooks that are way more fashion-y. But I hope they don't go too down that route because that's one of the reasons why I don't really like our legacy anymore. I feel like our legacy, you know, as great as our legacy was at one point, it was really nice kind of like elevated streetwear, menswear type of stuff. Now it's gone way too down the fashion route and it's starting to, some of the stuff that they do, I just don't give pay attention at all to it unless it's collabs, unfortunately. But I feel like Dime are starting to go down that route. I hope it's not, but judging by the lookbook it looks like they really get into their artsy fashiony bag but still regardless of what i said there the stuff here for summer 2024 looks really fucking cool the first thing they have here they have a model here wearing a soccer jersey with dime written on the side on the front here and i have to be honest i absolutely hate the trend of like everyone wearing soccer jerseys now or every brand making a version of a soccer jersey i feel like if you're gonna watch if you're gonna wear a football jersey wear a football jersey but the kind of people that wear quote unquote soccer jerseys, number one, probably can't play football, can't do a single pickup, couldn't name a single team and don't probably like the sport. So it's just like a thing to wear just to look cool. It's almost as bad as people who wear like band t-shirts and don't listen to the band. It's diabolical. So I do really hate it. But loads of brands are doing them. I see brands doing, you know, their flip of a soccer jersey, but making it in lit knit, making it in whatever, cashmere, whatever they're doing cool run with it but if you're gonna wear a soccer jersey or a football jersey actually wear one that's from an actual team don't just get one that's made by a brand i don't personally like it i'm, I'm I, I fucking hate it personally because like i said again people that wear it probably can't do a kick up and shit fucking hell whatever um the camo pants i love on the model down the left camo pants look really cool um again always a interesting flip on how they do camo um the blotches are really really large you got these really cool big pockets here on the side of cargo pants i like how the pocket here is a bit wavy again kind of tying into this thing that they've got going on which is kind of maybe it's a sneaky thing they've got these seams running on a lot of their clothing which is kind of wavy as well so that's pretty cool you've got a shirt here with this model that's really nice um it's got embroidered flowers all over it that looks pretty cool it's in like a brownish type of color with maybe spots all over it it might be based on the material but i do like the application of the flowers embroidered into the shirt maybe the glasses are also a collab they like like oakley glasses maybe they've collaborated with them because oakley are making a lot of big moves in the streetwear field at the moment so that might be a thing um again that shirt is fucking banging i'd wear the fuck out of that shirt um it's, it's it's really bold looking it's kind of like something that bold would make but it just looks a little bit less frumpy so i like it very very much that shirt is really really cool um oh look at that jacket look at that jacket that jacket is hard that shell jacket i'm not too sure if that spray paint is something that's going to be applied to the jacket or if there's something that happened on the shoot by accident it looks like the spray paint exploded in the guy's face or on his jacket or over his face but if that's an effect on the jacket, I like it. Hopefully they can replicate it. It looks like a shell jacket. It might be leather. I'm not too sure what that material is. If it's that leather, I'm not too sure what that material is, but the shell jacket is fucking gorgeous. I love the look of that. It's like a green and brown co um, co combination. There's a pair of Asics here the model's wearing, which look really cool too. I'm not too sure what model that is, but these Asics look really fucking nice there. I'm not mad at the shoes. I'm not mad at this hoodie. Oh, this hoodie is all me. Um, if you know me, you'll know how much I love contrasting stitching. Black, um, any clothing that's black with white contrasting stitching, I'm all over it. And any clothing that's black with some studs on it, especially silver studs. And this particular hoodie has silver studs running around the edge of the hood and also has a, a uh, dime logo with silver studs. And he's also wearing a snapback with a dime logo with silver studs. I think these are silver studs. I think so. Yeah, silver studs. Or maybe they are, um, what you call it? Diamonds and shit. Just fake diamonds. But regardless, this design reminds me of this jacket I saw that's leaked. That I'm not too sure if they've announced when it's coming out. But look at this jacket. This allegedly, according to Street Night Live, is a first look 
on their up and coming Aida skateboarding collaboration on this Gore-Tex jacket with the same design. So I'm not too sure if this is part of the same pack, but look at this jacket. It's a Gore-Tex shell jacket in black and it's got studs running along the edge of the pocket flaps and it's got studs also running around the edge of the hood. Oh, I would wear the fuck out of this jacket. And it's also got a uh, Ada skateboarding or Ada's tray foil logo on the right sleeve. You've got a nice dime hit here on the chest. I hope that's embroidered. I guess not. I think it's screen printed. Anything that's screen printed, these things flake off really easily. And of course, you've got the Gore-Tex hit on the sleeve. And you've got a tonal hit of dime here on the strap as well. But Jesus Christ, the stud across the pockets. Oh, this might be one of the hardest jackets I've seen this season. Um, I want this so fucking bad. Hopefully this drops. Hopefully it's easy to get. I doubt it. But this might be tied into that actual thing we got there. Um, got a tote bag there. Don't really care about that. This is a coach jacket, which I like. Looks like it's got like enlarged buttons on a coach jacket. It's a staple of all men. I think should have a coach jacket. But I like how the, the buttons look like, or the snap buttons look like they've been slightly enlarged. There's also a red shirt in there and a jumper. Oh, look at that jacket. That that warm. It's like a warm-up jacket. That's really nice too. You've also got a nice bit of that wave tie-in, that cut that they've got along the whole of their collections. It's almost like a signature, this cut, this kind of wave cut thing they've got going on there. That's a really cool warm-up jacket thing, I'd, I'd call it. Um, a nice over shirt here that this girl's wearing. I like that inside top, wherever that is, with the hexagonal green prints there. I'm not mad at that. Oh, the sweatshirt suit is really nice. Is that purple? I guess that's a purple color. And it's got dime embroidered there on the chest and a dime here on the pocket. Nice casual sweatsuit look. I'm not mad at that at all. You've got a nice bucket hat in a suede material, which is odd. I've never seen a bucket hat in suede. Um, I wish my head could suit bucket hats, honestly. When Schoolboy Q came out and he was popping, I tried the bucket hat thing. My head just doesn't fit it. Bucket hats are definitely something that are for people of a certain head shape. My head shape, unfortunately, doesn't suit bucket hats. I'm really pissed. Um, oh, look at this overshirt. This overshirt jacket thing is lovely. Look at those buttons. Oh, ho, ho. got a button boner. Look how big and nice and chunky those buttons are. Fucking hell. That's a really nice top. Um, the shorts are really nice here too. Look at this. An, that's like a running pocket or something. Maybe those are meant to be trail shorts or something, but they look really cool. They've got these like, uh, almost like a, a triangle shaped pocket that's on the outside kind of similar to what you'd see builders wear builders have those trousers where they have the pockets on the outside they look pretty cool I'm not mad at that at all um, you've got a nice polo shirt there as well that looks really nice you've got a nice uh, I think that's the same shirt we saw previously it comes in that suede type of material the belt is really cool I love the belt the belt is really nice as well um, I'm not mad at the belt We've got hoodies and jorts. That long sleeve is pretty tight. A nice jacket again. What are the jeans there? Jeans with the rose prints are similar to what the shirt we saw earlier. The shirt as well looks cool there. Oh, we've got a backpack coming soon from Dime. I'm not too sure if that LED light on the inside is included. Um, but that's pretty cool. You've got, I guess it's a waterproof shorts maybe. Oh, look at the waterproof. Do, do they have faces on it? Yeah, waterproof shorts. Is that the scream face? I wonder what that face is from. It looks familiar. But there's some shorts where if you sp if, if it gets water on them, it reveals a face. It feels like this is a meme. This is pretty funny. It feels like this is a meme, that face. Maybe it's that meme of that person who tried to, who fucked up the screen painting and then tried to repaint it. I've, 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 I think I've seen that face somewhere before. I don't know where I've seen it before. The shirt the kid's wearing is also cool. All white half caps are nice as well. The pants that this kid's wearing are really nice as well. More of the crystal dot stud thing design going on there with those pants. So that hoodie that I mentioned, that jacket has matching sweatpants. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I might have to be trying to buy a lot of dime coming up soon, mate. Oh, look at that wave print um, shirt, actually. That's really nice. I like that. Nice shirt again. The pants there look cool. There's a really odd looking translucent raincoat thing that looks really interesting. This is like an or orange ombre type of design. I like the look of that. That looks so nice. It's got this double paneling on it with white and orange. It almost looks like latex or something. 
It almost looks like a condom. That's what it looks like. It looks like a condom. The jacket looks like a fucking condom, doesn't it? That does look like a condom. I'm not going to lie. But I don't mind it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fucking cool. Um, We've got another hoodie here. Patchwork. We've got more of that diamond print collaboration happening there. We've got a trench coat happening as well. We've got belts. Um, double, double zip hoodies, which is a pretty good look. The twins wearing them. The Walmart jacket I said beforehand. <laughs> look at the, the guys wearing like a bodybuilding um, under thing, which is really funny. So yeah, the, the look book's really cool. I love the look book. I love what they're doing. I think it looks fucking cool. And I can't wait to see some of this stuff IRL. And I will be trying to cop. I will be trying to cop. Of course, I will be trying to cop. I'll be trying at least and I'll be trying. 